Hello, everybody. Welcome to Adobe <laughs> Live. I'm so excited to see everybody. I'm Jesse Showalter, and we are with Kevin Lee today. Hey, everyone. <laughs> and uh, we are finishing the third day of Kevin's stream, his impromptu stream that yes. he jumped on and just started <laughs> crushing all of the things. And so we want to say welcome. We want to say hi to everybody who's in the chat. Hi to Jeff and Osama and 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 Val's still here and Jan's here. So wow. uh, hello to everybody. So many of you guys have been like participating in in like like so many of the streams. And I only know that because me and Kevin had been on <laughs> 70% of these streams yeah. this week. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of these names. So thank you guys for joining us in the chat. I want to remind you guys of uh, the schedule that is uh, pretty much coming to an end. So I don't know if we even need to do schedule, but let's recap all the awesome things that have happened on the stream. So I uh, have, of course, the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenges hosted by Kathleen. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was working on a board game app and Kevin was hosting me on that. So that was great. Anna just got done with her final stream. Uh, where she did some awesome goat yoga, charity fitness stuff. I saw that. I <laughs> no, it's Kevin a is legend. on his I final can't. stream Ooh. for the day, and uh, he's going to be still building out his mentor mentee uh, concept application. So keep in mind that at the end of the day, we're going to be doing portfolio reviews. So you have opportunities today to submit your portfolio. If you're looking for the info on that, mm -hmm. you can find it on Behance um, in, in the portfolio review tab. So check out there to figure out how to submit your stuff. And we also have the chat and win coming up where again, people are gonna have an opportunity <gasps> to win that notebook, that <laughs> Moo notebook, which apparently has like beautiful colors inside. Ooh. And uh, if you hold, I saw Gus had held up the green portion the green. and it blended in with the green screen behind us. So that's, a, if you have a green screen at home, extra Oh, did reason. it really? It yeah. blended? Oh, that's so funny. A little extra reason for you to have one of these. So, awesome. so Kevin, tell us, uh, catch us up on where we left off in your project. Yeah, so if we go to my screen, I'll just quickly introduce myself if you guys don't know me. Uh, my name is Kevin Lee and I'm a UX UI designer. On the side, I like to do some film photography work with my friends and other agencies. And today, what we've been working on this whole week is a mentor slash mentee networking app. So this app is bridging the gap between a mentor and a mentee in an art and design related field. Um, and I got this inspiration from like my own experience, like wanting a mentor um, and also uh, there's other apps like Bumble Biz and Shaper that does this, but yeah. again, like I said before, uh, we don't want to confuse like dating with like professional mentor mentee finding a job type of thing. So um, yeah, this app would be separate from that. Uh, I share a lot of user empathy with this because again, looking for a mentor when I was in college, uh, I went to a lot of creative networking events and groups to connect with with other creatives, right. such as Adobe Life, <laughs> Adobe Creative Jam, The Design Kids, Adobe Max, Creative Mornings, and like joining all these creative um, Facebook groups um, right. online. So yeah, that's how I actually met. My mentor was through a Facebook group and cool. yeah, it was a lot of fun and we're like really good friends now. <laughs> um, so for today, you guys, we will be, um, so I, on day one, I worked on the profiles for mentors, mentees, um, and the chats. And uh, on day two, we did a lot of like the meeting events um, where you can look for places to meet your mentor and mentee on the app and then share it with them, right. um, send it via a chat message. Uh, and then that's when, yeah, that's where we are right now. Awesome. So what today, what we're going to be working on is a little bit more functioning with sharing a location to hang out with your mentor mentee. Very cool. Um, and then maybe some onboarding screens with a login page. Ooh, all right. Uh, you yeah. Got, you got some iconography on the page there. Cool. Yeah. So these would be kind of like on our onboarding screens. Um, and we can work with that. And then I did some tweaking. I added some icons mm. from last time. Oh, um, that punches it up nicely. Yeah. Yeah. And then I kind of bolded like because I'm looking at like positions they were in instead of like what company they worked for. Sure. Like showing that credibility that like, hey, I am a senior UX designer for so and so from this year to this year. So emphasizing it with the bold text and uh, if they do have an education, emphasizing their um, uh, diploma or something yeah, or major. So, people the, some people in the chat are saying that they just absolutely believe this should be like a real app. We gotta get this, <laughs> we gotta get this thing made. It's a yes. necessity. 
Oh my gosh, please, someone hit me up and we'll get working on this ASAP. And also Huxel said, Mamma Mia. So <laughs> if you don't <laughs> yeah, know, there's oh, just been man. an incredible amount of quips and little like memorable nuggets of sayings on, on these streams. There was some singing. There was some there was singing, like... there was some goat yoga, there was all sorts of interesting things. So it's been a really fun week. So. Yeah, this week has been super interesting. <laughs> Um, okay, so I did realize while like looking through um, my screens is I didn't have like a send button here. Mm -hmm. I guess you could do it on the keyboard, but sure. it'd be interesting to put it here. Got to be able to send that chat. And speaking of chat, make sure that you guys stay tuned because we do have the chat and win. That's where you guys are going to have an opportunity for that. So that's coming up really quick. Yeah. Um, and to get that Moo notebook. Get that Moo like, notebook. <clears throat> Cool, so just use this panel. Just gonna keep Very it nice. super simple. Okay, yeah. You know. So tell me about like the, the creative choice you're making, because I see uh, a lot of, a little bit of like blurred, kind of like a, a blurred effect mixed with color. <laughs> so how you're kind of like making those creative decisions. Um, so that was just like a like quick decision. Um, I'm probably gonna revise that too, because I don't know if I like it or not. Okay. Sometimes quick decisions, like, that's what we have to do sometimes, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> we're thinking on our feet, we're making decisions, and it's the beauty of uh, being a digital designer of any kind is you can always come back and iterate. True, right? yes. You're not making a lithograph that's like one shot, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> you got man. one chance to do it. Right? Oh, my gosh. Maureen says she loves your color palette. Thank you. The purple, that teal and that pink, you know? And he's really using that color palette like specifically, like intentionally, intentionally. To, to denote yep. like mentor mentee, which is like great, like just using color um, to assign meaning throughout the app, which I think is, he's just doing a great job at that. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Appreciate it. I've been really interested like to watch uh, your design process and oh, like okay. Anna's design process and compare it. I just think that there's such so much value and yes. watching you do what you do. So it's just been really, really cool to see. Oh, thank you. What do you guys think? What's it, what's the most interesting thing like that that speaks to you while you're watching somebody go through their creative process? Is it is it how they make creative choices? Is it the mechanics or like the how he's using XD to like get done what he wants to do? Like, let me know in the chat what your guys' thoughts are. I guess the question is, what, what's the biggest value you're getting from Adobe Live in like here today? Yeah, what would you say is yours? For me, I really, I'm just like such a process junkie. Like, I just love watching process because, um, like, whether it's a question about like my icon, like, uh -huh. like workflow, or like you had some great answers for me on that, or watching, watching Anna the way that she was able to um, kind of concept screens. Okay. It was, it was so like she. I feel like she's so much user focused than I am right now, and I want to be like that. Yes. So it's just a lot of inspiration from seeing everybody work and do their thing. I know, I'm like, I saw uh, like uh, some glimpses of her process, I was like, whoa. Great, right? Yeah, Kita says that uh, it, like, it's how people use the app. So they, she loves seeing like you use XD and, and maybe it's like the hotkeys that you're doing or the way that you're kind of thinking about like manipulating it. Uh -huh. Ariana's saying a bit of both, a little bit of process, a little bit of like technique, absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, Juan says networking to meet people behind the portfolio. That's that's a really great aspect of it as well, which is why Behance is so great, because it's got that community aspect. I know. It's like everyone knows everyone. <laughs> it's got, you know what I mean? It is. And it's what's been, I've loved it. I know, like, we've talked about it. It's just seeing the same people, like, pop back up in the chat, in the streams. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I do start, like, I start feeling like I know. I've been following you. Like, I was out there, like, following a bunch of you, like, on, on Behance. Like, oh, I got to, like, keep up with these people. <laughs> They're crushing it. Seriously crushing oh, it. Oh, Voodoo Val says, um, oddly enough, one of her favorite things is seeing that professionals m make mistakes and run into issues too. Yep. Yes, <laughs> we do. Uh, <laughs> we have like, had some moments. Every, no one is perfect, you know what I mean? Except Howard Pinsky. Who's <laughs> <laughs> just constantly coming in and yeah. giving the Yoda like, out like of nowhere. Wisdom. Yeah, like, I don't know if he's here now, but I, like you'll just see a random message pop up, and like that solves our that's problem. That's the thing. Like, he's like a force ghost. He'll just like come in and just be yeah. like, "I have the answers, and I'm out. See you guys later." Like I love, I love <laughs> it when good. Howard pops in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see. I have this all completed so far. I don't know. Sure, I don't know, like what I want to do yet. Um, 
And then let's say they wanted to click on Zombie Baby, like a message. Board. A lot of people are saying how much they love Zombie Baby. It's like a memorable part of your of your stream and your application. Oh man. <laughs> um, and then let's change these images to here. Nice. And then, so I feel like this should somehow change. I don't know if I want to make it like bigger like this. Yeah, there's, it's an interesting, like, it's always interesting to play with, like, the, the space, especially of, um, like, the sizing of persistent elements. Uh -huh. like, how much is too much? How much is too little? You know, like. Yeah. It's always, like, a, an interesting, especially, like, that you just did, like, the text field is going to expand if people start writing very large, like, comments. What do we do with that? I love, I love solving those problems. Right. Oh, yeah, drop that photo in there. Good. Be like, hey, why don't I go here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then no blur maybe because like you're gonna see. Siog was asking a question that um, they're working on an app UI kit. Never done that before. Do you have any advice or tips for building out your app own UI, UI kit? kit? Yeah. Oh, I haven't done that though. Mm. Um, have you done it? I've done a little bit. I wouldn't even call it like a UI kit as much as I'm currently trying to build out a design system um, for my company. Yeah. Um, so that's not necessarily a UI kit, although there are elements that you can pull in, right? Like a pattern library. So the only advice I get, because somebody out there is going to have way better advice than me, but the only advice I would maybe have is um, to try to think of as many instances okay. that you can around one thing. So like if you're going to design an input field, mm -hmm. think of as many possible instances that that, does, that input field could get used okay. and try to make it as simple as possible from the outset, like from the start. That way, I think you save yourself a lot of variation down the line. You have to have obviously like active, inactive states, filled states. So you want all those variations, right. but think of how it might get used, you know, throughout the rest of your kit. So that's, I don't know, that's the only thought I have. I think that's a good point. Cause like, I mean, I agree with like what you just said. Wait, but how do I make this, sorry. Let's see. A drop shadow. Oh, there we, oh, I just had to double click it. Like, Trying to drop shadow the actual X icon or the whole thing? The whole thing. You can group it together, I believe, and then select the group and the layers. You should be able to. I think I, oh, I, I did it. Got oh it. yeah. Got okay. it, awesome. Oh, nice. No, but like seeing your process, like designing like style sheets and then, um, was interesting because I was like, oh, it's so different than like how I would do it. Really? Yeah. So interesting. I love it. I would like, I want to like hear so much more about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I feel like, again, there's no right answer for everything. That's true. Yeah. Keep that in mind. We've talked about math quite often on this, like oh these God. live streams and this is not math. There are multiple correct answers here. So yeah, we like deserve another like, Diploma or something, because like <laughs> you don't know. Ooh, somebody said, "What about I know, it's Kevin, <laughs> Jesse, and Howard collab at the same time?" It couldn't happen. You know why? Because the universe would explode. That's what would happen. Yeah, there would be too much awesome. Everyone <laughs> would just be so mind blown. They would just be like, "What? You could do this?" It would be like a like a like a, a sh three part sharing of like spirit animals because. <laughs> I feel like Howard's starting to starting to get in the running here. He's <laughs> I know. So funny. Um Oh, I wonder why there was two. Why did I make two of these? Hmm, interesting. I like that you implemented some zebra striping there. Where? Like in the in oh, the this one? Yep, in the pop-up yeah. there. We didn't even kind of talk about that yesterday, but yeah, a little bit of zebra striping just it kind of it allows you to read really quickly at a glance and see the separation. So that's nice. It's a good good design pattern. Thanks. Um, so I also updated the meeting page. Okay. Like maybe it'll have like feature places that have like good ratings, and then below that it's like these sub um, categories of meeting. But I wonder how I can incorporate like featured events or something. Because mm. it just says meeting events. Right. Featured events. <laughs> Could do that, yeah. Yeah, just like change that. Um, 
Because they already know they're in the meeting section. You don't have to like repeat it. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then have, what is this? When it comes to a three-part collaboration between you, me, and Howard, uh -huh. uh, Val says unicorns would descend from the heavens and put a stop to the to protect our moral sanity. Our mortal sanity. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do when, you know that? That's when, so true. When they descend, they would come on clouds that are actually made out of moo notebooks, which is something to keep in mind because that yeah. the winner of the chat and win in the next twelve minutes and forty seconds is gonna be gonna taking home one of these heavenly <laughs> items. So keep that in mind. Stick around for the chat and win and get some awesome free stuff. Awesome. Okay. So I have the featured events. Coffee. I wonder if I should make this pink because this is pink. Interesting. Yeah. Bringing some of that consistency throughout. And then maybe have this darker. Also, keep in mind that portfolio reviews are at the end of the day, so. We'll be taking some time and, and Kevin will be looking at your portfolios, giving us feedback. We'll both be kind of chiming in. I saw some really cool portfolios in Anna's stream and, and in uh, our stream previous to that. So just keep it going. Keep submitting those, that work. It's awesome. Yeah, people are amazing at what they do. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just so like, it's one of the, uh, the benefits I did not realize was I was going to get from coming here, which was to, to meet the rad people in the chat and then see their work. I thought I was definitely going to be inspired by the work that was happening here in studio, but then to be oh. so inspired by you guys, I'm like, that's added bonus. That's oh, a sweet that's deal. Odd. Yeah. You just don't know what to expect. Right? <laughs> Juan has a, a question. Um, when we should do an app, Web app or website? Ooh, interesting. Good tech question. When when do you jump from a web app into like some sort of native app or or website? I guess I would say like situation dictates. That's a horrible answer, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a really bad answer to a great question. You have any thoughts on that? Um, I guess it is a situation, right? Like, right. Is it necessary? Because here's the thing: when I did projects in school, they will keep in mind, they didn't really have an, like UX UI experience, mm -hmm. like teaching that. So it was mostly print. So if we would make a project, they're like, oh, just make like a website or an app that's related to it. But right. like, if it's unnecessary to have to be an app or like to be a website, mm -hmm. then like, I wouldn't even like make it. Got if it. that makes sense. Mm. I think like, I, I, I kind of I hear what you're saying. Like it has to have it has to have a purpose. Like, yeah, purpose. Like and it has to be the right fit for the. It comes back to the, the user, don't you think? Brand. And the user, yeah. Right. If people are going to be using whatever your concept is, probably more on a mobile device. Right. You know, native is probably a good way to go. If people are going to be dividing their time, web app will probably get you some of the, the the ability to go kind of both directions. Mm -hmm. And then if people are mainly going to be doing stuff desktop wise, like um, I think. I don't know. I'm not a back-end developer. I'm saying things I probably shouldn't even know, say I'm right like, now. I'm like, do I have enough credibility for this? Sue Yog says that uh, 20 years old, still wondering whether UX or UI is the right thing for me. Any suggestions? How do you how do you know which one is like if it's the right thing for you to to be a UI or UX designer? Well, the thing is, I came on, came from a graphic design major, mm -hmm. so that's like more UI, like making things pretty and like. Uh, using design elements and stuff like that. Right. Um, and my sister's actually a UX designer who introduced me what that was. Gotcha. And I realized, like, I do like to solve problems, like, um, and find solutions for those problems, like, just every day of my life. Mm. Um, whenever my friends get in a fight, I'm always, like, the middle person. <laughs> They're like, what should I do? And I'm like, ugh. You're the peacemaker so the much problem tea. solver. Too much tea for me, but you know, I like to solve problems and yeah, I guess you need to show which one you enjoy more or if you like both, do that. Like if you want to do the re research and like solve problems, but right. you still want to have that design capability in your job, be a UX UI designer or product designer, which right. is the whole spectrum. Um, if you don't think you'd be good with research or anything or mm -hmm. finding solutions, Stick to the UI. It's just personal preference. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think UI definitely, uh, 
you're designing interfaces, if that's, if you don't like the research aspect or the psychological aspect of digging exactly. into a user's thought process, maybe, maybe it's not for you or maybe you just haven't had enough exposure to it. Yeah. And realize how awesome it is. So I always tell people like, that's true. It's like, it's like seventh grade electives, you know, like try some stuff and figure out what you like. <laughs> And then, yeah. and then if it's shop class, cut, cut you some wood, do your thing, you know, <laughs> uh, build a birdhouse or become a UI or UX designer. designer. Ooh, but building a bird box would be, bird box? A bird box, a birdhouse. Birdhouse would be fun. <laughs> when you're building a Netflix series, um, do you design <laughs> slash work differently being on live video as opposed to designing by yourself in the office? Oh, that's an interesting, that's a behind the curtain kind of question. I like it. Yes. Yes? Yes. What's different, do you think? Um, well, definitely more time. <laughs> <laughs> definitely time. Yeah, so like you don't feel like rushed to finish something, but I like how this is kind of like, oh, what can you come up with in like two hours uh, for three days? And it challenges like your skills. Um, but when I'm working with a client, I make sure I like, we're completely different. I need as much time as I can get. Right. Doing the research, doing the um, competitive analysis, um, just to get very detail oriented. This I could just like have fun. I could do whatever. Right. 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 Um, I think that for me, like constraints mm -hmm. is like a big difference. Like there can be in in a real world like production scenario, there's there's much more stringent like constraints usually on a project, time frame. Mm -hmm you know, like existing like patterns and things you have to abide by or brand guidelines. Like like Kevin said here, we're just kind of making things up as we go or concepting and having fun. Mm -hmm. We're using a lot of the same skills and disciplines, but there's a little bit more freedom to play, you know, so. Yeah, freedom to play. Yeah, free, yeah I like, word. you know me, I like to play. Yeah. I like to have fun. With the board game. <laughs> <laughs> um. Val actually had a question. Uh, for both both of us, um, is there a specific moment in your life when you knew that UI and UX was what you wanted to do? Um, yes, you had you like you said traditional graphic design for you, right? I knew junior in high school. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Like, what what was what, what was like? How was it so sure? How are you so sure of that? Seeing how good my sister was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just a I'm little like, bit of validation. I'm like, wait, you can design something and like make like like a good living out of it. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm down for that. Right. I like to be creative um, and then have that ability to be stable, which is good. So once I saw that and how well she was doing, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do this. Um, and then I did a lot of like high school graphic design classes. Mm, gotcha. Um, and I was the lucky ones that like didn't change my major in college, which is like really rare. Very rare. Very rare, like, yeah. All my friends changed majors and everything, but I just like kept through it all four years. Nice. So I'm like, I don't need to be in more student debt. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just gonna stick to this. And yeah. I knew when I was, I was just started like in the industry and was doing more traditional print stuff and mm -hmm. like layout and editorial. And uh, I had a situation where I had to design and learn how to like build my own first website Ooh, okay. um, and it was just something that needed to happen and needed to happen quick uh -huh. and so I had to just like I had to learn very very fast but then in during that process I realized I liked solving problems that way okay. more than I did in more of like a traditional like print print way Ooh. so I liked the idea of um, you know it started on like the web right like so websites being like ever-changing and you can always like perfect them as you go and not necessarily like I think actually here's the moment. Ready? I had a <laughs> I had a work project where I printed something up uh -huh. and I I spelled a, like the word I think Honolulu wrong. I put an extra n in okay. it and it got printed and ran like two thousand copies. And I was <gasps> like, I never want to have that happen again. Like <laughs> so I was like, I love the I love UI work. Let's do that instead because I can always spell check and go back and fix it. <laughs> oh my god. My moment was a moment of failure that made me realize. Hey. That's the best ones. You know what? Failing is good because you learn so much. That's right. So what are you what are you working on right now? Remember chat and win three and a half minutes. Ooh. Stay tuned for that. But 
What's what's Kevin got cooking? Yeah, so now I'm just doing some onboarding screens and like quick icon illustrations to introduce like the mentee mentor concept, the chat concept, and the meeting concept. Uh huh. So I just have these simple icons that I found, um, and then I think I should make this white or black because I like how the black looks, but. Mm. I'll just do, because if I do black here, I don't know if that, yeah, it doesn't match, so I'll just do white. Keep it consistent throughout, cool. I like the kind of um, offset shadow that you have in the circle. Oh, thanks. Cool style, very cool style. Thank you, thank you. Gotta add that spice. <laughs> Gotta add that spice. Oops. And then I'm gonna have it like auto animate, so like the shadow can like, Go different directions. Ooh, cool. So, I'm gonna like, I don't know, put it here for a second just to see. Oh, the work. Oops. Howard's saying moments of failure make great stories for Adobe Live. You're so welcome. I'm <laughs> so glad that you are enjoying my pain. Speak the truth. <laughs> Siog actually had a really great question about uh, getting getting a first client. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do you go about getting a first first paying gig, first paying client as a designer? Um, networking events. Ooh, that is. Or a even great like going answer. online, like literally just go online, look at places um, if they're hiring any like freelance work, mm -hmm. or just going to networking events and finding clients that way. Right. I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah. And then don't like. Um, like for your rates, like don't go low because it's like your first project. Like know your experience and like know like what you're capable of doing, mm -hmm. and don't like what's it, what's that term like? Call yourself short or like oh, sell yourself. Sell short. yourself short. That's the one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got your back. Um. Yeah. Don't sell yourself short. Know your value. Know your value. Absolutely. And I think be realistic about your value also. Yeah. Right? So yeah, like yeah. this is why also I think networking events, and I don't go to enough, but networking events are great because it allows you to get like a, a good understanding of where That's other true. people are at, what they're charging, how they're getting clients, and then compared to what your skill set and experience is. That's so true. you can start kind of judging and basing things like a little, like kind of realistically. But def I love the networking event idea. If you don't have a portfolio or anything in it, like a concept project, maybe following along with Kevin as he's making something like this, kind of like creating your own, putting it up on Behance, you got your first portfolio piece, showing that to clients, like mm -hmm. easy, like you're already off and, off and away. Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, Kieta says, Kevin, how did you get over your networking nerves? Like, oh my God. I, you guys. What do you do when you're shy or an introvert? I'm an introvert like a true introvert because my first networking event, oh, I remember it was terrible. Ooh, I love it. See, now it's time uh, for you. Tell tell us your terrible story. It was, okay, so it was me and like two other college friends. Can we pause actually really quickly? Let's start the story in just right after the chat and win because Ooh, okay. it is cool. rocket animation chat and win time. <gasps> Boom, confetti, let's do it. All right, it is chat and We're win back. time. In <laughs> one word, sum up an embarrassing experience if you are brave enough in the chat, or just say whatever. <laughs> just talk. I mean, we're being we're being transparent. Kevin's about to drop a truth bomb. I would say traumatic. Traumatic, like oh, ooh, design fail in like oh. uh, just design fail in a few words. That would be great. So mine, if I was to put mine in a few words, it would be um, a two thousand print run fail. That's what I would say for my. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What's up to Maureen and Nicolina? All right, we got lots of people joining us. Debbie and Suyog still in the chat with us. Nice. Jordan Crawford in the house. Wow. Love it. So many places. Nice glasses. People like the glasses. Love the animation intro. Okay, cool, very cool. Syrup. I'm, if that was an embarrassing Come moment in the design industry, I would love to unpack that story. It Wait, sounds interesting. I'm really curious now. John, that makes sense. Bojana says, beautifully sparkles. like. Probably talk about these guys right back here, I'm thinking. 
Ooh, the design presentation fell apart, Ariana. I'm so oh, sorry no. that happens. Oh, presenting stories are the best, worst ones. Oh my gosh. Animation mm. stickers. All right, hate to David. Oh, it's and, a dark time for me. Ooh. And we have a winner. <gasps> how do you Yay. say that, Kevin? How do, how do we say that? Is it Zhao? That's not the one? Paco. Mm. We had a little oh, technical difficulty, false start on that. Sorry, everybody, <laughs> real. Well, wait, was that the previous winner? That was previous. That was okay, previous I was winner. gonna say, I'm like, oh, it's that okay. would've been so bad. David says he's here for the bar mitzvah. That's cool. I'm, okay. I'm still waiting for it. I'm, I'm excited for it as well. <laughs> the chat did explode, Johnny. Yes, that's good observation. I love it. <gasps> Once Printed 500 boxes with a mistake. Hey, I feel you. That happened to me. Johnny S, Woo! you are the winner. The chat Yay! exploded and you were the dynamite that made it happen, my friend. So Yay! congratulations. Congrats. You oh are the winner of this beautiful Moo notebook. Somebody's so gonna get in contact pretty. with you and figure out how to get this delightful treat straight to you. So good job. Thank you guys all for participating in the chat and win. Remember, portfolio reviews coming up at the end of uh, this stream. So you guys will be able to submit your work. We'll be able to like look through them, give you constructive critique and encouragement on everything that you're doing. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really, really exciting. Again, if you're just joining us, we are with Kevin Lee, designer UI UX extraordinaire. And uh, he's yeah. building out a mentor mentee concept application using Adobe XD here on the stream. Yeah. So you were about to tell us a story though. Oh man, I I'm thought you guys let, were gonna I'm not gonna about let that. that story go. When when I had to tell an embarrassing one, you gotta tell one now too. Uh, okay. So we went to Creative Mornings. It was like my junior in, year in college. Mm, okay. Uh, it was me and my two design friends, and we we're like, you know what? We're gonna go to this and like we're gonna talk to everybody and just network and like be so social. And these are three introverted design students. Um, we went to Creative Mornings. It was a lovely presentation. Um, I was so nervous. My whole back of my shirt was like wet. I'm like <laughs> sweating. Um, and I met this amazing like uh, designer who presented, I forgot their name, but I wanted to like introduce myself. So it was me and my two other friends. Everyone was else was socializing after the presentation. And I'm like, you guys, should I like just go and like introduce myself, say hi, and like, I don't know, just network? And they're like, yeah, like you make the first step. And just imagine just three of us like looking up and down, up and down, and like just being so nervous about it for some reason. <laughs> uh, I ended up slowly walking towards her and I was like, Hi, like I'm Kevin. You did like an amazing presentation, and um, it's so nice to meet you. And she's like, "Oh, it's so nice to meet you." And then she went in for the hug. Oh. And <laughs> keep in mind, my whole back was wet. Yeah. So she literally like gave me a huge like um, tight hug, and then as she was like taking her hands off, she looked at her hands, and she was like. Oh my God. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> and yeah. then I was going to ask her all these questions. I was like, well, thank you so much for your time. I got to go. <laughs> and I like walked back. Fantastic. And my two friends, like they were in the middle of like walking towards us. Cause like I was like the person that was going to introduce them and stuff. And then as they're walking towards me and I was walking back, I was like, go back out. Like, we're not gonna, you don't go to her. Like, I'm leaving, because this is so embarrassing. Yes, yeah, so no, I don't like people touching my back sweat. I know! I'm gonna uh, go out on a limb here and say nobody likes people touching their back sweat. I know. <laughs> it's just probably a general <laughs> posture of life, I would be willing to say. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, uh, I probably didn't go to like a networking event after like three months after. Now I'm wondering if that is as bad as somebody who's, who commented in the chat, um, misspelled DVD to 17,000 people, like printed oh. it up and sent it out. I don't oh know if they meant misspelled the actual the actual acronym DVD, so like it was like D-U-D maybe by accident. Oh or my some, god! Or is it something else? That is amazing. That is hilarious. And then Juan said, um, put an old logo in a presentation with a client. The client stuff is oh. hard when you, when you embarrass yourself in, in front of the client presentation. Mm -hmm. Whew, that's a rough one. All right, so you are uh, in the middle of building out these, these are like the onboarding screens? Yeah, the onboarding screens, just kind of like adding some flavor to it or spice. Um, let me see if I can make this larger, like 25 maybe. And then there's gonna be a description beneath it. Gotcha. 
of the actual onboarding screen. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want this to be centered or left aligned. So I'm just gonna, since everything else is left aligned, maybe I will. Gotcha. Very interesting. I also, I like that you're implementing, there's a really awesome emphasis like on uh, a, a good kind of an old UX principle, which is like, is it learnable, right? And from the outset, like even here in the like onboarding, you're already teaching them the colors. You're showing them like, hey, this these colors are gonna mean something. Mm -hmm. And you're bringing it into like the application, which I think is great from the outset. I love that. Thanks. Oh, Abdul has a question for Howard, which I would love to hear. Is there a way oh. when recording your prototype on XD to change the cursor style? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we were talking about design camera or Rotato, that kind of like application earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but when you start recording, you get the nice round kind of like um, style for like almost like a, a thumb, like moving along. Okay. But they're wondering if they can change those. Ooh, I like you're putting some stylistic oh. embellishments on it. Yes, oh, I, I love do. that. Some cool stuff. Good answer. Thank you, Howard, for chiming in on that. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Not at Howard the moment. came through again. Always. Johnny's asking about the stroke inside of XD is Oh, that's an answer to a question that was previously asked about can you manipulate or, or make the strokes consistent. So thank you for answering that one. See, this is what I love when community comes together. People are asking questions, answering questions. That's great. Because sometimes I just get so caught up in watching what Kevin's doing. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I, I forget that there's such amazing questions happening. Keep, uh, keep in mind, we also 51 minutes until we do portfolio reviews. Okay. Cool. So we want to make sure we get some of those portfolios submitted. I'm really excited to take a look at those. I love I, I love the design. I'm just seeing. Thank you. I'm Little trying. embellishments there. Those are fun. Ooh, yeah. everything you're doing, I'm really digging. <laughs> Mini circles, just like more spice, you know. Yep. Howard's loving them. Val's loving them. Thank Ooh, yes. you. Yes. Like optically, yeah, it says I'll start my portfolio right now. You should, yeah, put some I stuff in there. It. It's cool. I like, we would love to see it. We're very excited, please. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then maybe I'll change it up later. But for now, I think it looks fine. Very cool. Um. And then maybe have like an auto animate, like switch the lines as well. <laughs> but Jada wants to know the brand of our glasses. Oh, um, Urban Outfitters. <laughs> and these are not prescribed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Neither are mine. Wait, really? <laughs> They're blue light blocking glasses to keep my eyes oh. from straining. These Dude. are just for aesthetics. Those are just for. He I'm looked... wearing col um, contacts right now. Under my glasses. That's the best. That's amazing. <laughs> See, um, oh, I, just I like this stuff. question. We want. I want to. I want to ask this question to Kevin, but then also ask it to the rest of the chat. If you had to use only one Adobe program for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh my God! I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. In the chat, you guys are answering. Me and Kevin are gonna think about it. And on the count of three, we're gonna say it out loud together. We're gonna see okay. if we match up on which one. Okay, ready? You ready? Okay. One, two. Three. Illustrator. Ooh. 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 I was just thinking if I had to use one, it might be Illustrator <laughs> for now. Hmm. Eventually it might be XD though. Illustrator though, like there is a lot of stuff you can do. Like you I want like you could do wireframing. You could Illustrator. I have done I back in the day. You're right. Before before, before XD. XD I used Illustrator to do wireframing and some Ooh. stuff like that. But then there's like some stuff you can do in Photoshop that like. Ooh, that's uh, how, you know what? The better answer would have been CC. Just like, just Oh like, my <laughs> God, like everything. everything. Just Literally like that's everything. the one. That's the one. <laughs> would have been a cheat done. answer, but a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Jimmy says After Effects, Lindsay's saying Illustrators. A lot of people are saying XD all the way. Got mm -hmm. some Photoshop fans out there. Ooh. Very nice. I like to use Illustrator even for my web stuff. All right, so, okay. Lindsay, are you are you are you playing with XD? Are you checking out? You seeing you seeing what Kevin's doing over here? Maybe check it out. 
What am I doing? Art, <laughs> Art Cole said, Mac Paint. Paint. Oh, MS Paint. M oh, that's right. Oh my God. Come on now. <laughs> CC, the Holy Grail. That's right. Yes. Good answer. Um, just mixing this up a little bit. Because I don't want it to be like, yeah, it'd be nice if everything was consistent. Right. Just a different angle, but maybe some things disappear, some things don't. Um, are you using all the same objects from artboard to artboard? Are you thinking they're going to animate a little bit? Yeah, that's what oh, I'm thinking. Oh, come on now. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> this is kind of too close to the shadow, so maybe split it. David said Dreamweaver all day. Ooh, come Ooh. on now. I need to learn more Dreamweaver. It's like more coding. Macromedia, some people are saying Dreamweaver back in the Dizzy. That's great. Dizzy. Okay. Let's see. And do we have a, oh, where do, where do we land on the, uh, the straw poll for naming Kevin's application? Oh, yeah. I don't actually even know. Maybe somebody can look that up and figure out what w were the majority of the votes. Because we did yesterday go into a, a bit of polling. There was a Ment Me. There was uh, You and Me. Um, there was Meet Cute. There was a bunch of, there was a bunch of possibilities. Oh, yeah. I want to do that, too, for the login screen. So that would be cool. Yes, we're going to do... So we want to find that out as soon as we can because... Um, he is going to start doing his login screen. Are we doing a straw poll for that? I think we did one yesterday. I don't. I don't have the results, but somebody's oh. going to Ooh, okay. get them to us. I guarantee it. Sweet, cool. Um. Abdul says that that uh, you guys just can't imagine how these streams have changed my life. I'm learning a lot. Really? That's, Aww. That's awesome. I I feel also very similar in that regard. A bit life changing to be here and be with you guys. Kind of like Neo. Oh, Adobe Muse, somebody was talking about? Okay, interesting. Ooh, there's our straw poll. Let's let's see where we landed. I'm gonna open that up. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna view the results. We are at close tie. We have a, uh, only a few votes for some of them, but right now we're tied for Ment Me and We Are Mentors. Ooh. Oh, also tied for, <laughs> so we're still tied for Mentor Mia, too. Oh, is it really? Mentor Mia. That was a great <laughs> option as well. Oh, my God. Also, me and you and I meant you. I like that. I like Ooh. all of those. So put a couple more uh, votes. I know which one I'm voting for, and it might be in song form. Um, trying to see. That chat looks weird. The channel transition. So if you were looking for that straw poll and you wanted to participate in that, you can find it uh, in Behance in the chat. And uh, I believe Val was the one that just posted it. So just look right above in the chat and you can find that. Thank you, Val. Maybe I want the shadow to be consistent. I don't know. And the lines just move. That could be very cool as well. Oh, do that again. Ah, I like what you're Ooh. doing. And then maybe it'd be cool for you to do a you could you yeah, could do it you like think? a oh yeah you could do like a time transition also so if you had a, a, a another board so oh no I just like what you're doing I like that a lot oh it would it what's the time what would the time transition well, I was you thinking want? you could also get like um, if you wanted to get them like swiping and dragging as well, you could probably do like a mixture of like time transitions between two similar boards and oh. then also do like a rotation of like the element. But this. that might be overkill. I like what you're doing there. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. It would be cool like what if these, because mm -hmm. I'm also thinking of like having these lines go like around with a dot and then around here. Like right. if it would just like switch or something. I don't know, so for some, Reasons. So that's okay. So like for instance, if you took your chat screen, right, and yeah. you, you pulled down and did another one, then you could do a time transition for like five seconds. Okay. To like to rotate it like 360 degrees, and then it'll just look like it's constantly rotating like this. And then when somebody taps, you can go to the next one. You can do the same thing and just have like constant motion in your onboarding. That's a thought. That's so how idea. would I do that? So like I would go to this artboard. 
Yes, so connect, okay. yeah, prototype one artboard to back to the green one there. Okay. Uh huh. And then go time time transition, mm -hmm. and then take it all the way up to, um, you don't want delay, you want oh. no, no delay, but down at the bottom, the duration. Probably want to rock that. I think the, if Howard Pinsky, correct me if I'm wrong, but the longest you can go is five or six seconds on timed transitions. It won't let you go any further. So, um, and you probably want to take off any easing. So it's just like, it oh. looks like it's straight going like this. And okay. then you just do the same thing, reverse it back the other way. And you'll get, you get a little bit of, like a little bit of like, almost like full, like looping animation out of it, which is kind of cool. Ooh. And then time. Oh, same thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Maybe try it out. I might have just led you down. Oh, wait, oh you got to do the rotation move. too. Oh. I'll just go like this, just to see if it would work. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm oh. like it. Hey man, high five. Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> oh. Even yeah. like having this as like. It's own screen. Yeah. And the user's ready. It's like a cute little animation. I like it. Um, oh, yeah, like there it. is a five second limit on time transitions right now, but I think you can be pretty clever. You can, you just like, there's some workarounds you can do to get some pretty cool stuff. We did that um, in okay, in the streamer. I love this. This That's is so a great cool. one. Is there a way to make it faster? Someone on YouTube actually just mentioned that Kevin's grandma is watching and says hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's oh that's cool. That's great. My grandma's visiting my mom in Vegas, and they're probably watching together right now. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let me. I'm gonna try one second. Do you think that's too quick? Well, you can always play with it and see. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that. Like I don't go that's, for that's it. Yeah, cool. let's do it. Like, yeah. Onboardings are. I, you know, they're they're purposeful. We're trying to like lead the user through and get them to like sign in, use the application. Yeah. But they are also like pretty, in my opinion, free range for like some fun. Free range. It's yes. it, the first few seconds can be a very delightful, fun experience for a user. <laughs> Maureen says, "Whoa, I didn't know you could do that." I know. Now Literally you know. Me. That's awesome. Uh, Here's another thing I want to do. I Johnny S says, five oh. seconds is too short. I can't fit the Star Wars text into it. I can't do a legit <laughs> Star Wars crawl. Oh, it needs to be longer. Technically you could with just multiple boards. You just stitch them together and it's uh -huh. like you're building out a movie like storyboard and they would slowly crawl into the galaxy. So now you know. Now you know you have some family members watching and supporting. But you I also know. you yeah. also have some people who are not your family who are just telling you that you are awesome sauce. Ariana says. You guys are awesome. Stop. That's so sweet. See, everyone here is so positive. Right. I love it. Good job, community. Good job, everybody. <laughs> just keep doing you. Yeah. <laughs> Got about forty minutes left in the stream, and then we're gonna be doing our portfolio reviews. So make sure you get those in. Also, like we said earlier, we have that straw poll still going. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to get your votes on that. Oh, we got a couple more votes. I don't want to spoil it for you, but one of my favorites is in the running. Really? Oh, wait. <laughs> one, one, of, no. one of them's in the running. Okay. Make this. There's some questions um, about terminology and like development terms, ask those, ask, put any of those terms you don't understand in the chat and, and somebody might be able to answer you. You never know. You might even have to go to Google. You might be able to stay right here and get your, your questions answered. <laughs> oh yes, I love that. Johnny S, put that together and let us know. And and which, which movie, which Star Wars crawl should Johnny S pull the story out of? Should he go, we're talking like episode one? We're gonna go episode four? Oh. I think maybe Star Wars Episode Four would be the you got to go old school and do the crawl. I would love to see that challenge accepted. If you can get that by the end of the stream, we would love to see it. I want to see it. Put it in your portfolio. It could it, you could do it. A new hope. Val says, "Will anybody say Phantom Menace?" I think not. 
I think not. <laughs> the least favorite of the series, I think. Oh, are you guys talking about? We're talking Star Wars. Star Wars? Oh. Did you guys know that they're doing the Disney? They're d designing a Star, Wor Star Wars world or something? Ah, uh, yes, oh. I heard about that. It's cool. Have you ever been to Disneyland? I have been to Disneyland. Uh, the thing, yeah. do you know what the thing that stands out to me when I go to Disneyland, theme parks, or just anywhere really, uh -huh. is I'm always looking at signage, and I'm Ooh. figuring out how I can implement that kind of stuff into, like, interface work. Okay. I just love. I just think there's something just so like interesting about the way that people do environmental design, uh -huh. signage, stuff like that. How can I bring that into? Like my inspiration for for my kind of work. What kind of stuff? Really? Yeah. Is there stuff like that that always stands out to you? Um. Yeah. I. Well, like, you also said that like you look at shapes and stuff, right? Yes. Architecture is a big one for me too. Architecture. I look at like photography and stuff. So nice. I think that really helps my design creativity. Do you think yeah. that that photographer's eye that you have also helps, like just when you view your your actual interface and work as well? Um. Yeah. How uh -huh. to frame things and. It does actually, um, like the rule of thirds and stuff like that, that really helps. Um, and just like, I feel like any creative hobby that you have on the side just helps your creativity in general. Agreed. Um, so I think, oh wait, this is not actually, because I have curved edges. Gotcha. Yeah, I've noticed that you're doing curved edges on the bottom of the the um, onboarding shapes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want it. <laughs> Always changing, <laughs> you know, but we'll just leave it for now. Um, and let me see. Like, yeah. I like to do different options. So like for the onboarding, I, there's like the circular one that I have. Um, but I think I would want another angle line work. I think we should put a, we should, so that Kevin can get to branding his like splash screen and, and his onboarding, we should put a limit on it. In the next few minutes, we're going to <gasps> finalize yes. the straw poll and get the name. There is one that is the front runner right now, but if you are still wanting to cast your vote, you can find that straw poll is up in the chat. Just scroll up until you see Val's comment and you will be able to find it. <laughs> is it? Wait, I don't. I just want. I, I don't want to ruin it. I want to be surprised. I don't want to ruin it for you. But yeah, I think I have look, a don't good idea okay. of what it will be. Okay. Uh, just different. No, just working different. Just like work, this, you know? working the shapes, working some stuff. I like it. What's gonna be? What's your plan for like below in the in the like white space area? Um. Description of the pages. Gotcha. So like me would be like, oh hi, like make sure to go to this feature to mm -hmm. find places to meet your um, mentor mentee chat. Once you uh, match with your mentor mentee, you can talk and then gotcha. connect is like the swiping. Kind of hitting some of those main features. Yeah, definitely. I um, think that's always that's a, just a good kind of like principle, like in general or practice in general, is to kind of like summarize some of the key value propositions mm -hmm. um, like as quickly as you possibly can. Just just summarize them, get them in the user's mind. So if you look right here, you have that. Gotcha. Oh, something phone's... interesting happening here. Okay, well, that's cool. The, is the highlight shadow in the same place? <laughs> You can always, yeah. When I'm when I'm looking for spacing, I tend to always like X and Y values. I'm always looking at those numbers to double check. It's a good, maybe a good habit to get into. Maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> um, Abdul's asking, oh, yeah, what is our way of iteration in our design process? Clarify that question a little bit for me, Abdul. That's a really great question. So what is our way of iteration? Like what, how many times do we iterate? Or maybe maybe it's an open-ended question. We just like think about it our own way. But look, talk to me about iteration in your in your design process. Um, how do you iterate? Let's start with that. Hmm. 
I think that I like to I like to get as little as possible. I'm a minimum viable product kind of kind of person. Okay. So I like to get as little done, get feedback quickly, whether it's from stakeholders or client. Um, and sometimes people don't like that actually. Sometimes they want they're really expecting a lot more. But that's why I, I've developed some of those habits like style tiles and wireframes and not jumping into high res like high fidelity mockups because mm -hmm. it could be it could end up being a huge waste of time if you're off in the wrong direction. While you're like collaborating with developers? Yes, or if I'm collaborating with developers or I'm working on a project alone, I try to get as little done as possible before I can present like mm -hmm. a first round. And it might seem underwhelming, but I feel like it. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about too. Like, there's a fine, it, there's a balance there. Yeah. What's yours? Like, tell, tell me a little bit about yours. Well, like, it's the same as that, but like, I'm just worried that, like, even though it's not a lot, it will be a lot in the long run. Mm -hmm. And, like, the company I'm working with, like, I guess, um, is slowly appreciating UX UI, which is amazing. So, it's in the beginning, it was me convincing, like, what I have is very underwhelming, but right. like, I promise you in the long run, it will be worth it mm -hmm. um, for me and for the developer. So yeah, it's just like that fine line where it's like, like doing enough to show like, yes, you know what I mean? It has like to be enough to prove out the concept, yeah. but not enough that you can't iterate and be agile about it. And you're working harder than smarter if you're yeah. doing too much. And I think if you're working yeah. with a client or stakeholder or developer or engineering team, that you'll find your own rhythm mm -hmm. with wherever that approval like like bottleneck is or where that process kind of like starts, you'll you'll find the rhythm, what's right. So maybe you're a person who is like really low fidelity like me and whoever you're presenting to, they need a little bit more. And that's just the situation you're in. So you just learn to accommodate and and you know provide a little bit more. Yeah. And just kind of like it's like raptors in Jurassic Park. You have to test the fences, right? Test the fences and see where the right spot is to go. And when you find uh -huh. a groove, you just that's now you found a groove. And it's probably gonna change in most situations. Do you think it'll change like a lot within like a year, or do you think it would it? I think it changes depending on the circumstance. The company you work for, project, it can change. Uh, project -wise. technology that's available, like. Yeah. I would have never years ago uh -huh. uh, offered prototypes, any sort of like prototype walkthrough. But now, oh. because it's so like, look at what you're doing right now. Right. Because you can do this much quicker, I will consider offering some sort of low fidelity prototypes before I before I present. Send something, you know. So, I want to incorporate the time with um, a click transition, mm -hmm. and then the lines would change. So I think I'm gonna do a step where, okay, this would go here mm -hmm. with these being like moved. Gotcha. So now but you're kind of working, a lot. each one of the steps is, is kind of has like two, two screens to it. So you can go to it and then it, it moves a little bit. Right. Go to the next one and move a little bit. So this would be time Doing a time transition. Yeah, time transition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, okay. Um, do I have to click it? Or hmm. What was it? Let's it see. was time, no delay. No delay. Trans it should, oh, you're going really fast. You might want to speed up the, maybe that's something. Give it a couple seconds. One. And. Yes, and then you don't want animation dissolve. You want none. None. Oh, okay. That's what it was, I think. Maybe that's what it was. I wasn't 100%. What did I do before? What did we do before? Yeah, look at the other one. That'd be the. Yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> when in doubt, go back and check out what you did before. Time auto animate none. Val was pointing out in the chat 30 minutes till the final portfolio deadline, you guys. Maureen's mind is still blown over the animation. Mine as well, I know. <laughs> the fact that you can do it, which it's right back in that conversation, right? It's mind blowing that we can we can actually do this. I wonder if like you could go back and forth. Oh yeah. And then, oops. Once it goes back here. Hopefully that's what, uh, that's we're gonna get some Star Wars action at the end of us kind of showing that because you can do multiple 
you can think of, oh, see, it just happened, it moved. You can think of each artboard, if you want to, like a storyboard. So you could, you could do some really intense stuff. You can like move things editing. around and just step by step. And, and I think the majority of the control probably comes in with the, de the delays and then the transition time. So mm -hmm. move over here, wait a few seconds, move over here. You can do lots of stuff. So like this. Oh, yeah, moved. Yeah. Oh, cool. There it is. And then you can connect this last screen to this. Oh, OK. Tap. Wait. Michael thinks maybe you should pop some easing on, on these animations. Ooh, look at that. I'm just playing around. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. This is, it's, so this is exploration. Yeah. Abdul's asking if we have UI and UX next week too. I believe next week is not UI and UX. I believe it's it might be Photoshop or something something besides oh, yeah. UI and UX. The week after, Howard. Thank you very much for the answer. Do you know why? Whoa. <laughs> okay, so if I go to this screen uh -huh. and then I click this, it's like moving. Is it not in the right? I think that's. Two things to always check is, is it the exact same layers? Is it the exact same objects in each one? And right, that's what we learned. If it's, yep. Yeah, that's right. Howard taught us that. Yeah. So you got to make sure they're the same things. They came from the same origins. Yeah, you're right. Smart. Yes, so there will be. Thank you for pointing that out, Howard. There will be. Next week is not UI UX week, but there are XD challenges next week, daily challenges. So stay tuned for those. Those are going to be awesome. And I think we're just gonna we're just gonna rein in the winning title for Kevin's concept mentor mentee Ooh, app. Oh yeah. Uh, are you that. ready for it? Yes. The winner, the winning name, with a whopping twenty two percent of the votes is Mentor Mia. I knew it. It's, <laughs> it's I knew that was the Mia. one. How uh, did I know? That's awesome. We'll do that. We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I guess we'll do that. Mentor me, it is. I guess, yes. Suyag is a, uh, asking where we look for inspiration. We've talked about that a few times, but I think find it, you know, everyone's different with where, like, where you find it. Architecture, photography, online. Mm -hmm. I think there are some pretty good inspirations. Um, community portfolio places like Behance are a great place to start. Because yes. not only can you find the inspiration, but I think one of the coolest things is then you can talk to the people who've made the work that have inspired you. Uh -huh. You can comment on their work and say, I love this, how did you do this? How did you do that aspect of it? So uh, understanding more about the process and the thought behind it, I think is what makes it more like special, yeah. more inspirational, which is why Adobe Live is so awesome because you're getting, oh, yeah. you're getting real process here. Real process and real exploration fun. That's right. That's stuff that we're doing right now. Absolutely. Mentor um, Mia, you're getting real process of Mentor Mia as it's being built. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so time, transition, done. All right. It's onboarding. Oh yeah, this onboarding is looking really, really good. Whoa. Oh, you know what? It was 0.3 seconds, that's why. It's like, that was quick. Click. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's because this one is going from here okay. to a totally new direction, like a full circle. Right. Where this one is just a slight little, like, turn from here to, like, right here. Gotcha. So maybe I need to just change this. So that's how it originally was. Mm -hmm. I just move it this way a little bit. Let's see if that changes stuff. Yeah. I think it's... it's definitely one of those animation, you know, because we're prototyping here, but we're really using XD to almost mimic kind of After Effects-ish kind of like animations, right? So, mm -hmm. and animation is, I'm learning this little by little, is like one of those things you have to tweak slightly, play with a lot to really get to a space where you, you really love what you've done. And so that's what, again, that's why I love this. Like we're watching Kevin think through like interactions and animations. It's great. If you have any questions for Kevin as he's doing that, like 
why are you doing that? What's your thought process? You know, even hey, what are the what what are your struggles and like figuring things out? Let's keep it real. We're gonna we're gonna do this thing. Ask those questions. Keeping it real, yeah. And then another one. It's timed. nice to have it's nice to have um, um, the ability to do just like such different types of interactions mm -hmm. you know I like that a lot yeah that's it helps a lot it's, that's nice okay. um, what's our main color be like purple <laughs> I'm a big fan of purple, so I would. But let's ask the chat, you guys. What's you, are folks out there in the chat? What is like? What should the the main color be like when we splash onto this splash screen? Yeah. Do we like the the purple? And the other colors you have are kind of like the the um, teal that teal color. Oh, that looks. I just realized how bright it looks on the screen compared to the. Uh, Val saying purple. Yeah. What else do you guys really think? Bright. People are asking some pretty funny questions about, I think we spawned like a whole conversation about embarrassing stories. They're asking <laughs> embarrassing interview, worst interview questions. Oh They're man. asking about creative block. Creative block? Yeah. I just watch YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the like, best thing to do. So. I think the main suggestion is purple for the for the splash. Purple? Mentor okay. Mia in purple. How do you spell that? Ooh, that's a great question. M-E-N-T-O-R and then M-I-A. Mentor Mia. Cool. Ricky Wood says, my app name won. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Everybody, um, ooh, it already looks good. Mentor Mia. What typography are you using? Circular um, STD standard, I think. Looks nice. Um, yeah, I did a show with Johnny Vino and um, he got me into like circular typefaces. Yeah, they do look really, really nice. Uh, and maybe I'll just do like a white circle. Everybody's on board with the purple. Yay. Yeah, I was just looking at the different types. I was like opening up XD and looking at the different types of transitions we have or triggers. You have tap, drag, time. Oh, that looks like Eminem. <laughs> and then you have the voice triggers as well, which we haven't really done. We haven't played with those very oh. much, but, but play with the voice triggers. They're pretty interesting, pretty fun. And then of course we have cool. transition, auto animate, and I've never played, has anybody played with the speech playback? So you have like oh. voice trigger and speech playback. Has anybody done any any fun concepts or that. playing around with those? I would love to hear what it is that you, how, how you used it and how you've played with it. Mm. I wonder how we can do that with this. Oh, can we integrate? Oh, I love, I actually really like this little branding that you're building right now. <laughs> just like quickly, I don't know, I just, Thank Everybody you. else, Val says she really likes it as well. Um, ooh, should I do a pattern like how you did one? Oh, you could use those little elements from your... Stop it, look at that, that's gonna be awesome. Howard says, again, Howard says, I wonder what trigger will be added next. But again, every time Howard says something, I'm thinking he's like, I know, but I yeah. don't know. Did he do that emoji thing again? He did. I knew it, I knew it. How that did means, I know without even That means that it? he knows, I'm sure of it. There's a pattern going He's on like here, the XD Howard. Guy, he would know. Um, offset him a little bit. Cool. Ooh, yeah, maybe an angle. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. They look a little bit like Children of the Corn, but in a good way. I know, I in know, really, you're right. In a good oh, way. No, Don't take right. them away. I really like them. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you, if it was late at night, and you were home with the dark, with the with all the lights off, they might scare you just a tiny little bit. <laughs> Maybe it's time for their bedtime. 
to go away. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Just like yeah, a little subtle, like bring it down. Head with your I like it. Influence and inspiration. Yes. Um, so have that here. Oops. Is that a is the typography that you're using? Is that a type kit? I think I like downloaded it from somewhere. From okay. Like the fonts or something. Gotcha. Um, I think the. It would be cool if it was though. The, actually, that's it, that's a, a newer flow for me is is using Typekit in in the projects, but that's what I used on mine. It was really really nice just to be oh, able really? to go yeah just head in a Typekit and just like attach everything and bam it's like <gasps> working right. Ooh yeah, bring that pattern in. Be like hey, welcome. David says, Kevin, you are so skilled. Thanks. Those are so nice. 17 minutes left until we do portfolio reviews. Everybody would love to see the different work that you have. So make sure you head over to the portfolio review tab on Behance and submit via the link that is there. That dot always looks great on logos. <laughs> Just like a period. Just um, like, bam, that's it. Mentor um, Mia. M and M. Mentor Mia. Um, and then let's do like the login. So like email. Andrew is saying that that just started watching one of your sessions. Mm -hmm. but funny enough, he ha he had this idea for an app a long time ago. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. He's in. You can see you can see it's a felt need because multiple people are thinking about this thing. You should carry this thing out to completion. Wait. You should really get this thing, get this thing cracking. How do I, do I go to like Shark Tank or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I would love to see Kevin. If you're on Shark Tank, <laughs> listen, on. if you're on Shark Tank, can I be the person that, that demos the product somehow? Yeah. <laughs> that would be. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh my God, that would be hilarious. How do we get on Shark Tank? That's interesting. We have to like patent this or something? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> We're making moves here, you guys. We're making, <laughs> We're making huge moves. Yes. Um. I just would like to see as many people as possible say the words Mentor Mia, mentor personally. Mia. <laughs> you know. Because you know as soon as you say it, yeah. you want to sing it in the back of your head. You're like, back of your mind, maybe I'll sing. Right? Um, maybe you have like. You can do labels above? Or sign in. Okay, yeah. Oh. And then have sign up. I love, that's so, that's, I think that's one of the more successful like patterns for like sign ups. Right. I didn't do that in mine. I totally, I totally spaced it. But being able to flop over between the two. And just having like it right there. Underline. Yes, I like it. Like how, like grabbing from this, but like not having it that color, obviously. Right. Um, oh. Oh, you're gonna get the good accent colors in. The accent color oh. has made it. I don't know, what do you think? Like, do, should I have that or should it be a different color? No, I'm digging it. Really? I think maybe the, the, one th the only thing maybe I would suggest is uh, bump up like the weight on the active one. Oh, okay. You so know, maybe oh, you just, one? yeah, that try that. That could be fun. The sign in? Yeah, because you're currently active on sign in. So maybe oh, jump yeah. into like a bold or something. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I agree. Even like, ooh. I like the glow that you have on your. In the background. Uh, and <laughs> all on your lines, they just kind of like, they radiate like coolness. Neon. Okay. It's interesting how, like how simple a login can be, mm -hmm. but effective at the same time. Like it really is like a, a really effective pattern. And by adding, I mean the words mentor are in the name now of, of the application, but by adding the little the little uh, icons of the people, mm -hmm. it gives you a really, really good idea that this is like a people focused, like community. a personal like community, like finding mentors and mentees, like kind of like application. Yeah. Maureen says, mama mia, it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mama mia. Thank you. Okay. Let's have this. So okay. nice. Okay. And then assign um login. 
or something like a but a login button button yeah gotcha hmm can't wait to see I would love to see the prototype of the like tap and the little line like popping over and and the input fields changing that's always Ooh, really fun uh huh so login but I don't know how I feel about the white button. Usually, it'll be a color. What if I got rid of it? So when you have when you have like structure, and um, and, and you already kind of know what you Kevin already knew what he wanted on this screen, but now he's just he's playing with like layout and spacing and even like some of the aesthetic like color options, mm -hmm. which I, I just think that's. Uh, uh, it's one, like one of my favorite parts of the design process <laughs> is like now I can just I can just mold the clay a little bit and tweak it to my liking. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's everything's so centered right now. Right. Just like, cause like if you look, I look at like the overall shape of it. Okay. So if you can see, it's like a diamond. Oh. So like I don't know if I want that. Um. It's kind of like in, I forgot in typography class when you have, it's not like left aligned, it's um, when like. Justification? Yeah, justification. Um, but like when you read something and like the ends of the sentences or the paragraph is like all jagged up. Mm -hmm. Like I, I forgot what that was called, but um, you don't want to like have that. Right. Johnny S is still working on his Star Wars animation, which I'm pretty Ooh. pretty pumped for. Michael's sharing a thought that maybe yeah, Ariana's saying it is justification. That's what we're talking about: justification of text and left, right, or justified text to. Oh. But then you get you have to be really careful when you justify text, not getting pathways through your if you have paragraphs and such. Mm -hmm. You might not need a sign-in label, Michael's saying. You might just need to have sign up at the bottom, right next to the login button. That's always a possibility too. There's different, like that's a different way of doing it, right? Oh, not even have sign up? He's saying you have the two tabs where you can flop over from sign in or sign up. And okay. His recommendation was that you could possibly do it like just a sign in, just the, just the input fields and then have some sort of link at the bottom that says don't have an account, sign up. Oh, it's always that's an true. option. That's a good option. I could do that. Robbie, you are correct. It's called rag. What's the the oh, rag yeah. is the end of the thank you. There's, oh yeah, right. Thank you. Sometimes we just forget things. <laughs> um. Kid is saying she has to leave work. Couldn't finish the last day with you guys. Thank you for being thanks here. For thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us and being part of the stream. Yeah. Being part of Adobe Live. We've got 10 minutes left. Before you before you run away from work, submit your portfolio and you can come back and watch the replay because you can always watch the replays um, of all the streams, which I highly recommend because it's been a pretty fabulous few days of streams. Yeah, it's been, we have good people here. Like Anna, you, me. It's been super the fun. switch off that we had. Man, look at <laughs> us. I wish we could take this and put this in like later on. It would be super fun to take this and, and time lapse it to see how much Kevin explores like in such a short amount of time. It's great. Like exploration is so, it's just so fantastic. And then to watch it, you would just see the, um, like how different uh, everything is within a short span of time. It's really it's really cool to see how, how Kevin's mind, his brain is just working on overdrive right now. Literally. Um. Like Martina, I don't believe there's a way right now to do hover effects. Um, you can cheat it a little bit by adding a kind of like a, a, a tap interaction and showing like some sort of hover, but I don't think as of now, Howard might come in and just rebuff me for that answer, but that's okay. Good job, Howard. Not supported yet. 
You can fake it with tap triggers. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Me and Howard are like this. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Oh, I like you brought the line up now. You're using it as a design element and then just holding on to the to the input fields. Right. Yeah. Just keep changing the layout, you guys, with the design. There was um, a suggestion earlier. I, I'm uh -huh. trying to figure remember who it was from, but they were suggesting maybe not purple input text also. Oh, right here? Yeah, inside of the input fields. Maybe gray or something like this. Could be something like that. Okay. I think it might have been Robbie who said that, or it might have been David. It was David. Thank you for the suggestion, David. Kabir, if you're asking how uh, in response to the hovers, you're basically just showing like the different states. So you could create a tap trigger on, let's say, a button. Um, so that when you tap on it, it just maybe increases size or changes opacity or position. And then you can show that to your developer and say, hey, on hover, this is gonna look like this, like the two different states. You can also, you can, you know, for now, like until, until we have something that is actually hover, you can most likely, most engineers are really happy just receiving documentation and showing the two different states mm -hmm. and then pointing out the difference so they don't necessarily need the animation unless your animation is off the walls and super unique and interesting, then maybe you can do the tap trigger. Can I just make it look like there's a lot of text here? <laughs> there you go, just duplicate a little bit. <laughs> um. And are you having, uh, is there a progression button here or or is the user know to tap on the like on the elements on on top? Yeah, so I'm thinking of like swiping and then um, having like these dots in the bottom. Got you. To indicate little pagination indicators. Yeah. So. Yeah, just have these dots. David was bringing up some some thoughts and some questions about um, um, tappable areas in the space. What did, what did we say yesterday? Like the ideal tappable area was, like 48 pixels? 32? 32, some, 35, 30, 32 or 40 35, something, but but yeah. I think that's definitely something to play with and, and make sure that you don't have any fat thumbs issues and... and You're right, because look, oh, this, I'm not clicking on this, because it's a, no, it's not a button. Um, but, like this. Right. 79, but, <laughs> oh wait. Oh no, that should be fine, because this is 79. The width is the 79? Width. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Um, these are kind of too big. Just gonna look here. Make it smaller. Robbie really likes your icons. Thanks. <laughs> love seeing that little bit of motion around those two, super fun. We have about five minutes, everybody, until it's time for portfolio reviews. So get your portfolios in. We already have a, a few that have come in, so we're excited about those. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. Just gonna quickly copy and paste these. And it's just paste in place is so easy right here. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Raindrop had a question about, um, let's see, doing some video editing, uh, like car videos, but don't have good footage to work with. What can I do? There's actually a lot of, uh, look up some free stock video sites. There, yeah. there are some out there. I think Adobe Stock has, Adobe some. Stock has some great stuff that, out there that you can find. Um, so definitely check those out. But there, there are things available uh, and if not, um, um, your phone probably takes pretty decent footage. Go out and start shooting true. some stuff, right? Use that creativity. That's very true. Got some people in the chat from Germany. That's awesome. Do you know how to speak another language? I am not bilingual. I wish I was. How about yourself? Uh, no. Oh, never mind. I, yes, I, I speak another language. I, I speak the language of creativity. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> 
I mean, I used to, I used to try to like, <laughs> a, that was a joke. That was a really bad joke, but I used to actually, for a while, I was like trying to be serious about the fact that I spoke like JavaScript. I'm like, that's a language I speak. <laughs> I was like, and people just didn't respond well to that. So I'm like, <laughs> like, no, uh... I just speak English. <laughs> I don't speak any of the other ones. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna do tap transition, just a quick thing. Uh huh. Oh, that was really quick. Hi Sarah, thanks for joining us in the in the chat in the stream. We only got a few minutes left, but we do still have time uh, for portfolios to be submitted. If you're just joining us at the end of the stream, we got a few minutes left, and we're with Kevin Lee, and he's designing a mentor mentee concept application in Adobe XD, and he's doing a little bit of prototyping and animation stuff, which is really fun. Check this out. Oh cool. So I have one more screen. Maybe I can do it in three minutes. Maybe I cannot. I think you can. Okay. So what is the what is the last screen? This is the instructions guide. So like I'm just gonna quickly Oh my god. Uh okay, three minutes. Don't minutes. be stressed, you got this. Okay. So I like when you first log into an app mm -hmm. and there's like instructions to all these buttons and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of an overlay thing and love then, that zombie baby. <laughs> Absolutely love that zombie baby. Show like what to do on this page. Gotcha. So white outline to just doing, oh, some kind of like helper indicators. Helper indicators. Gotcha. Yeah, that's yeah. the word. Um, and then, uh, with the border, I wonder if you can do, oh, you could do dash. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. So kind of show these indications where like, this is for this, this is for this, um, to help the user navigate it easier. Gotcha. Sarah X is asking a question about how can beginners start with Adobe XD? Funny enough, if you, if you look up, uh, oh, what is it? Howard Pinsky, who was just in the chat earlier, just released a series of videos. And I think the domain is letsxd.com. Let's I'm sure Val, Val is going to put the link in the description, but it is sure enough. Let's xd.com and it, it has everything you'd probably need to know about XD, about starting your journey and designing and prototyping and even some examples on how to build specific things. Mm -hmm. So that's super, that, that's a very helpful resource that I think just recently came out. Show like, oh, make sure to swipe left if you want to match up with them. Oh, good. I like that. Um, Got about one minute left before we start our portfolio reviews. Okay. Kevin is just finishing up and yep, there's the link for letsxd.com. Check that out. Kevin's just finishing up, putting some finishing touches on kind of like a helpful screen to guide the user. Yes. Using some custom shapes. Oh wait, I could do this, right? Oh, perfect. And Sarah X also, I feel like we have a pretty awesome community like in the chat. So link up with some of them if you have questions and they might be a great resource for answers as well. Nice. Ooh, I like that. Yep. So swipe left to deny them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> deny them. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I would love to be your mentor. Denied. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's make this darker. Oh, good. Yeah, the contrast just pumped up in a large way. All right. Well, that is, we are at zero seconds oh, cool. left. We are ready to maybe check out some portfolios. Oh, yay. Cool. And I'm pretty much finished. So. All, right. All right. And we have, uh, we have two portfolios, I think, right now. So we might have a little bit of time to come back after. Okay, cool. Um, but right now we Let's are going it. to get ready for some fireworks, some rockets, and we'll Ooh. be right back with some portfolio reviews. Sweet. Hey everybody! <laughs> we are back, wearing the spaceship helmets, yep. and we are ready for some portfolio reviews. I hope you guys are too. Kevin's holding his because uh, 
but yeah, it was stuck. It was like the, the first show. There, it's a tight-fitting spaceship helmet. I it don't is, think this right? is meant for deep space. I think it's just meant for the stratosphere at most. So if we were actually in space, I would be like, I can't breathe. <laughs> There's a, yeah, but um, yeah, this is my helmet. All right, so that's, <laughs> you can put it down, Kevin. You don't need to wear it. I'm okay, wearing enough cool. helmet for the both of us. Thank but we you. are um, gonna start taking a look at some portfolio. So Ooh, on nice. my screen, I got uh, first up is Martina S. Cool. Uh, she is from Sofia, Bulgaria. And uh, let's see, she's got some work on her portfolio. And which one would you like to start with, Kevin? Um, let's do the dating app, because the the concept for mine is kind of like swipe left, let's start right. Connecting so. with people in yeah, some way. Connecting. Well, before we do that, she uh, she has some skills of UI and UX design. Nice. Photoshop Illustrator XD is on the list and uh, a little bit of HTML CSS. So she says that she's deeply interested in the UI UX aspect of things. And awesome. uh, and graphic design software as well. So let's let's click on Just this dating me. app and see what is inside. All right, I'm liking it already. Vaho. Vaho, find your perfect match. I like the gradient behind already. Kind of yes. Like jumps out, right? Oh, and it matches the color of the logo. That's right. Cool. Swipe left and right and see detailed user info. Oh, nice. In my case, I'm like swipe left or right to deny them. But your case is better to see more information about this. <laughs> That's, there's, it all leads to denial in, in Kevin's, Kevin's concept. Yeah, <laughs> There's basically. a possibility in Vaho of uh, actually finding a match. That's cool. Nice. Oh, like, I love like how she designed like the profile picture being the main image. And then just the buttons with the drop shadow is very nice. Mm -hmm. I like the size difference also. A little bit of um, kind of like contrast, like focus contrast on the heart there in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you have like kind of like primary, secondary, tertiary controls. Right. So really good kind of execution of that as well. I wonder what that black bar in the bottom means though. That's the Android bar. Oh, yeah, so okay. This is, oh, nice, for I think Android. It's probably, yeah, a little bit more, it seems like a little bit more Android-esque, a little more oh. material design stuff happening. Cool. Oh, love that color, typography. You have everything. Yeah, like that's, on set. That's a nice color combo. I like those a lot. Mm -hmm. And then it's always nice. What do you think? Like, so pairing typography can be difficult. I like it when somebody rocks like one, one type choice, one font. Right. And then has like a nice, there's a nice selection of like uh, widths and, and uh, weights and so on and so forth. <laughs> I like that a lot. Widths. Nice. I didn't mean widths. I mean weights. Weights. Yeah. Let's keep going down. Ooh, application map. Oh, nice. you can the tell she likes research and UX. That's good. That's really good to show in your portfolio because it's basically you showing the whole journey and flow of like a user. Yep. I definitely going from point A to point B. Yeah. Very good. I like also that like. You know, her presentation of this, she's got this like awesome grading at the top. And then we kind of get into like some clean <clears throat> presentation, like down here yeah. in white. That's pretty nice. But she's still bringing, you can see up here, bringing some of that, like the elements, the color, right? So she's pre she is presenting, which is awesome. Nice. It's super clean. Let's get into some wire frames. frames. I love how you like displayed them like all in a row and like columns like that. Um, it just makes you like feel like you've done a lot and it looks like you you did a you did a lot, so that's really good. Quite a lot. Look at all oh, whoa, the wireframes. Woo! It just keeps going. Nice. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's a lot of thought put into wow. like the structure and the flow. I think yeah, clients would love to see this. Like um, your process, your research, your yeah, this is really good. You can also, I mean, she's definitely designing for. Let's click for, for Android. For Android, you can definitely see because it has a lot of the material design aspects, which okay. really requires like a lot of studying to know the proper guidelines and how to design properly for Android. Right. So she See, put I in, need to learn that too. Yeah. Like she, more Android design. She's put in the work for sure. That's good. Let's keep going. Got some onboarding Ooh, stuff. Onboarding. Oh, nice. That's kind of a fun idea. I like this, the, the, on the right here, I am, and I'm looking for like this screen oh, here. Oh, uh-huh. That's kinda, cool. Maybe like, it could have been like kind of fun to like incorporate that into your mentor. Yeah. Mentee. I'm a mentor looking for a mentee. For mentee. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. Nice. Also kind of, I love, I like engaging a user in an onboarding more than just like, you know, uh, I think descriptions are good, but if you can ever put anything interactive in an onboarding, True. it's so, it's super great. That would have been really cool for our app. Uh -huh. And then the login screen. There's nice. The login screen looking really good. So do you think 
onboarding pages should be before the login screen or after? Um, I guess it can kind of depend. Okay. I think the majority of them that I see are probably before. Okay. Um, but I, I don't think I don't think that it has to be. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think onboarding can mean a lot of things too. Like when we think onboarding, we usually think of like a few screens that you swipe through that tells the user about what they just downloaded and they're about to get into. Mm -hmm. But it can also be kind of like what you're doing, like ex like um, explanatory like screens once you get in, like teaching them what the controls are. Right. That technically can be considered onboarding as well. Cool. I like how she when she's presenting this, she broke it out of the phone. I know, I love to, that. So she can kind of show you the whole thing. Instead of just like a long screen, it's like showing the whole screen. And she's kind of describing what they, what these things are here, like what each of these do, the features that she's thought through. Wow. Really nice. Awesome work. Really, really nice, Martina. Should we do another one of Martina's? Yeah, let's do it. Which one? Um. Let's see. Ooh, personal branding. Ooh. Oh, that's C? <gasps> Actually, that's I right? want to see that one, yeah. Typography illustration. Oh, I love this. So it's based off of style, style like, like styled things. buildings. Monuments, places. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this so much. I need to work on my illustration. Oh, man, these are great. I love the texture that's like found what? inside of each piece. Oh, like the squiggle line for the water right there. Love oh it. God. Just these clouds also Whoa, that are just super subtle. This is so good. I love this. You gotta do more oh of this, god. Martina. Oh my god. I want like a poster. That wouldn't that be nice? With like either my face or like the letter K for Kevin. <laughs> and just like little illustrations of me inside the K. <laughs> like that's so cool. Super great. I love this. I the love that. Like the amount of detail. Let's get, I want to dig in a little and closer. And like the background with the illustration on top of the background and like how those clouds have that shadow within the sea. Yeah. Like, it's like amazing. Just conceptually, like it's really great. Like based off of the rationale, right? Like based off monuments and buildings. Like she's yeah. really inspired by that. But then the color palette, amazing. Like, it's so detailed. Such great choice, great details, great illustration, so, or Martina. What are like, I wonder like, what are the initial steps or first steps to like, get to this point of like an illustration? Boy, I'm like, so, I'm just, I that's not to... my thing, but I like. Like, what do I need to do? I know, I want to try. <laughs> like, I, te I definitely yeah. want to try. Because people just know how to do it, and that's like amazing. Val's asking, are you going to do any more letters? Like, I would love to know the answer to that question as well. Can I would you do love the whole to, alphabet? I would love to see the whole alphabet. I bet you that's tons of work, but it, it would be worth it. Wow. So cool. Yeah, I would buy a print of this. I agree, Val. Yeah. I, yeah, exactly. I would totally buy a print. Okay, that's next amazing. up, uh, we have Giancarlo Vitulano wow. from uh, Italy. Wow. Digital designer. Nice. All right. Oh, that's so cool. Which one should we start with? This one over here? Oh, yeah, the first one. Uh -huh. Formula One uh, app restyling project. Concept. Ooh. So nice. if you know Formula One's like race car driving, right? So I, I, I think. Oh, is it? it? Yeah, so immediately I, I love the typography kind of like. It reminds you of that like it has race a little car bit of that, vibe. That like, feel, right? Yeah, yeah. I like it. We got some Ooh. animations in here. Let's do it. Ooh, Ferrari. I like, Boom. I really, I like this style of when it goes back to the car, being uh -huh. able to just kind of see the car like like broken out and just sitting there isolated and you know, just on the color. <laughs> just looks like super intentional. Like that's a nice style. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. One thing I would recommend is um, the gray background and the dark navy blue background on the phone kind of like is too close. So maybe a little bit more contrast with the background or something, but other than that, like, it looks really good. Yeah, it's I agree. Nice. It is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Like, the whole prototyping right there. It's so cool. They could have used your design Could have used the, the design camera thing? Yeah. The ro Rotato cool. thing? Uh-huh. Could have been. So we got a little bit about the palette. That's nice. I agree. I think, like, what Kevin's saying is just presentationally, I think this neutral gray mm -hmm. is just not, uh, like, maybe the best canvas to present this gorgeous work. Exactly. Like maybe even using, like integrating some of the colors that are from your palette to kind of theme the entire pres presentation out. Like the white, the FFFF. 
or yeah. Yeah, something that just kind of like brings the whole thing into one cohesive kind of presentation, I think, mm -hmm. would help just the presentation aspects. Oh, how cute, like the icons. I love like the, the icons, like they just put it all neatly like that. It shows. I do like the iconography cool. as well, just. Um, so one thing about the iconography, uh, it does kind of seem like it's not an icon set because mm. there's some solid stuff and there's some outline stuff. So you want to keep that consistent throughout your icons. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, I would like kind of work around that. Um, but other than that, the like how you displayed everything looks really good. Yeah, I think also like I, I agree with what Kevin's saying. I think it's a good icon set, a good start, but consolidating the 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 you know the weights of them, and then also you have some things just in generally are a little bit more detailed, like this, right. that probably aren't going to translate well at very small, small sizes. Icons. So I know there's a, um, a a couple courses out there for icon design, and I I actually have taken um, MDS like Matt Matt Smith's icon design course, which is super great. Ooh. And he talks about um, having simplified versions of icons as you get smaller. Mm -hmm. So that was like a huge, like, like mind blowing thing for me when I was like, I need to think about like screen resolutions and size <laughs> and using these icons to, uh -huh. to make sure they're really legible. So cool. <laughs> Rob, Robbie says Jesse's dead serious critiquing while wearing an astronaut helmet. That's <laughs> I have things to say. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, exactly. Let's keep going. Let's keep cruising. And I'm also really excited because after this portfolio, I know that Johnny posted a, a link to his Star Wars Ooh. like multi-part animation. So we want to check that out as well. I love that. I do like. I, I'm loving his the use of the animations in the presentation though. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like with the phone and by by like a huge like type um, that says buy your ticket. Like it's right. cool. Like you know like what they're trying to do within the prototype. Video. Yeah, do you think like, like I don't think you have to say more than this, like like about what the feature is that he just designed. He's yeah. linked them up and it's like, here's what you're doing, buying a ticket. Yeah. Like, right, it's this great. This is what and, you're like, supposed to do, yeah. And up here, he even kind of like used it and brought a little dim dimensionality in there. Oh. Like, it's yeah, like spicy. the type behind the phone. Like, I like, I like what you did there. I like that. And then get to the end. <laughs> Thanks. Very nice. <laughs> Bam, we're going to appreciate great that. job. Love the work. I really want to click over and see, uh, if we can, well, we're going to do a little inception here for a second. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to find that link that was just posted. Oh, I was going to like pet myself. <laughs> oh, where is it? It was posted in the. There it is. Take this. Okay. We got it. Okay. Got a new link. <gasps> Who is this Jack Dolly? What? Look at all these illustrations. What? Oh. I thought this was jo Johnny S. Where is your link? Somebody send me Johnny S.'s link. <gasps> Ooh. I really want to see that Star Wars thing that we did. Yeah. Star Wars. Okay, can we, can we drop my screen really quick for a second? Awesome. We got to get a hold of that link that Johnny S submitted for his XD review prototype. Ooh, if you're just joining us, okay. we're doing some portfolio reviews. We're here with Kevin Lee, who just got done finishing up uh, his his concept app for uh, mentor mentee, yeah, kind of like connection application. Uh huh. While we while we search for this one, um, do you want to kind of go back to your screen and show us a little overview of, um, of what you accomplished like throughout the entire few days? Yeah, let's do that. And then let me share my screen. Okay, perfect. Okay, while so, we do that, I'm gonna take this off. Okay. <laughs> so it's starting to get very hot and sweaty in space. I wanna just finish this with like adding a button saying continue. Um, Kevin's a perfectionist. He can't let it go. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> Show like, us an overview. He goes, I'm just going to fix a few things up really quick. Really quick. Okay. So let's go through this and see. So mentor Mia, uh, create an account, log in, all these onboarding pages that we've done. 
um, for connecting, chatting, meeting, getting this like quick overview of like what to do, and then seeing the zombie baby, getting all these cool little like auto animate nav Very nice. navigation stuff. Um, this is the mentee screen, mentor screen, chatting with someone, looking at all your matches, uh, looking at a specific chatting box. You can drag, I believe, did I do a drag? Oh. You can like look at the chat between you and someone. Nice. Um, indicating if they're a mentor or mentee by the color. Uh, with the keyboard, going to the meet section here having the featured events, more bigger than the subcategories of places to meet, specific meeting spot, they click share. <laughs> it will take this up and then if they click like, oh, I wanna do zombie baby, uh, share this with zombie baby to meet up, then it'll show on this keyboard to nice. enter message, share the location, send, and then to exit, it'll just disappear. Yeah, cool. awesome. So yeah, this is my whole mentor mentee app. Nice Mentor work. Mia. <laughs> Nice work. Nice go again. Nice work, Kevin. Yeah. And keep in, like, uh, it's amazing to me that, like, it was day one of the stream. <laughs> you had not planned on designing anything. They just said, Kevin, can you? And he's like, I got a concept immediately. So he just yeah. jumped in there and started making, which is the <laughs> right attitude to have, I say. Um, we actually have, uh, we have Johnny S's um, oh, prototype Wars? of the Star Wars crawl, <gasps> if Ooh. we want to see that. So we're just going to... Go back to the home, and you can see down at the bottom, keep an eye on on the two out of eight. Every five seconds or so, you see it switch to three out of eight. So he's just using oh wow time transitions Video to editing. slowly move up and do like basically a full-blown Star Wars animated crawl. Whoa. All in Adobe XD. <laughs> all during the stream. I want to keep it like keep oh that in mind. Oh my god. Eric says, Kevin is so amazing. I agree. <laughs> A fantastic job. Thank you, everybody. And so also, is Jesse. Mad props to Kevin, mad props to everybody in the chat, including Johnny S for his Star Wars stuff and the portfolios that we had an opportunity to What a great to way look to end at. the stream. What a great way to end the stream <laughs> <laughs> with a, a galactic story that spans the ages. You just need like the background music when it's playing. But this is going back to like when they're like, if you can use one Adobe program, XD, you can even video edit like this. That's true. You can do. I mean, it really wow. is like it, it shows the power of XD that you can you can do like powerful onboardings, prototyping, animation. You can do yeah. you can do this kind you of stuff as this. well. And just it really depends on what's what's in your brain. It's like the tool is there though. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, that awesome. that pretty much wraps up our stream for the day. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. Remember uh, that we have new streams coming every week here on Adobe Live, and it's been it's been a blast to be a part of it. Yeah, it's been awesome, extremely amazing. So you can find Kevin Lee online. Like he's got portfolio. He's got like I'm sure he's got stuff all over Instagram and stuff like that. You can find him. Do you have any of your photography on Instagram that we can look at? Um. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have my introduction. Like this is some of the stuff that I shot. Nice. This is so like beautiful shots. I do a lot of film photography, so I love that like uh, process of like you know making um, not like digital where like you can take it and edit it super quickly. Mm -hmm. Where film is like you can take it and you don't know what you've taken until you've processed the photo and like developed the film and um, scanning the film and everything. And then just that whole like procedure of everything is just amazing. I was joking with them saying like, I just like love the smell of like the chemical like, <laughs> of like, just like working with film and like um, developing it. So um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And Super nice. I'm going for like the 80s look uh, I love, love like weird type of scenarios, weird, um, unique situations. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of like my vibe. Uh, awesome stuff. For my photography. Thanks for yeah. thanks for being here, Kevin. Thanks for like taking us through and and taking us through this amazing experience of building out the app. Of course, yeah, it was so much fun. Like super last minute, but like a really good challenge. Like I didn't even think I would have anything, but like. <laughs> 
I'm so glad it all just like came through together. So it came out really great. Thank, thank <laughs> all of you guys for being active in the chat. I saw a lot of you guys each and every day, like consistently coming back. So we just really appreciate you guys and appreciate mm -hmm. you guys joining us in the stream here at Adobe Live. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye, everyone.